Hello, I'm back. <laughs> I know I've been missing for quite a while, but things have been going crazy over here. Um, as you know, uh, in Ireland we're suffering new restrictions. Uh, we're on level five, which means that uh, a lot of things are closed. Uh, we had to change our routines again, uh, and this did this really help when it came to filming too. Also, changes in the weather. Um, the sunlight, we don't really get many hours here. I mean, it gets dark at around half four or five, which means that I find it really difficult to, to film. Why? Because I'm using natural light. So I thought today I could make a new video, which is something, it's a video I've been uh, saving on my YouTube uh, list for quite a while. And it's something that I found, I find very interesting to talk about because I had an experience regarding this topic and this is dress code. On the one hand, I agree that there should be a dress code, meaning that more than a dress code, things that shouldn't be used, shouldn't be worn in school. I mean, uh, I think everybody should be free to wear whatever they want but of course everybody should be aware of what is allowed and what is not okay or what is not allowed but acceptable now why am i talking about this because uh my first the first time i taught here i had an interview with a principal and after the interview i was we we're talking about different things, you know, like how things work in Spain, how things work here, all that stuff. And I heard a comment saying, like, something like, you shouldn't be wearing jeans. And I thought, like, what, what, what's wrong with my jeans? And I couldn't understand at the start. I don't know if it was the, those specific jeans I was wearing. Now, that day I was wearing a black blazer, I would dare say I was wearing this shirt and then I was wearing jeans, okay? And probably those types of boots. Um, that's why I didn't understand what they meant by that. So I kind of forgot about it. And then over the days I was working there, I would be wearing uh, probably a skirt with black tights or dress up to the knee, that type of length. So to me, dress code should be, should exist. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'd like to watch this and then I will give you my uh, thoughts about them. I've watched the first two minutes just to have an idea of what, what's going on. So basically they're showing two pictures and we have to guess which is the incorrect one or the one that should that is not acceptable okay so i'm gonna go through some bits and see what they're talking about and we will comment on them okay let's start <laughs> Now, it's, uh, it's true that sometimes uh, the culture influences a lot. I mean, if the state, the area is more conservative or not. Let's see. Now, in picture A, we have a girl who's wearing striped t-shirt, something that looks like leggings. And in the second picture, we have a woman who's wearing uh, a striped shirt kind of a t-shirt that is showing a bit of cleavage we could say Ooh, i would say a wouldn't be acceptable basically because no i don't really know basically probably because the t-shirt is too short i would say a let's see <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm that's gonna go what I that's what I thought. Just so that's what I thought. It's not short, but it could be considered short. Because the shirt maybe is a little low cut. I don't know. There's like a zip 
appropriate. There's a lot of skin. More skin than I would expect. Yeah. B. B. But, so. So the answer is A, and it says if leggings are worn in place of pants, the shirt must extend to the top of the knee. To the top of the knee? Jesus Christ! Why on the top of the knee? That, I think that's too much, but... Okay, yeah, but uh, because she's wearing leggings, that's the reason why it shouldn't be acceptable. But it's not acceptable. Okay, I'm kind of surprised about that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Picture A, we have a woman. She's a woman who's wearing... Hmm, piercings, nose piercings. Very important. And in letter B, we have makeup. Ooh, um, I would say A because of the nose ring, the piercings. Now, piercings, I've seen teachers with piercings, uh, but I think they should be a little bit more subtle and not showing too much. Now, back a story, I used to have my nose pierced um, and before I started teaching, I took it out. I basically thought I wouldn't be hired if I had a nose piercing. I could have used a stud or something small or so, like a retainer, so it doesn't show that you have a piercing. I basically, I took it out and probably it was also the end of a stage of my life before I jumped into the uh, the working world, you know? But now, picture B, he has a lot of makeup. Um, I don't think that should be, a, that's not acceptable either. I mean, makeup is okay. Like right now I'm wearing a bit of makeup, but that's probably too much. Yeah, that's probably too much. Okay. Oh, but the first one has a piercing. Okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna say B because of the makeup. Because the piercing at the end of the day, you can change it, you can took it out. Okay? Let's see. Say A because of the nose ring. You know what? I'm gonna say A because I hope it's A. <laughs> I want I feel like this is a trick here. Yeah, you know but I'm gonna say I I think makeup is okay, but that's probably too much of makeup. I think <laughs> makeup should be applied modestly. However, facial piercings are also not allowed. That's why I had doubts. Yeah, um, I don't really understand why. I think it's because children are not allowed to have a lot of makeup or they are not allowed to have facial piercings. So in some way we have to set with the example. That's why on the one hand, I agree with some rules or some dress codes, but on the other hand, uh, it's important to be unique, you know, to some extent, you know? And for example, in my case now, I have my, my hair dyed. It's not a crazy color, but you can tell it's not my real color. Uh, girls are not allowed, or children in general, are not allowed to dye their hair in these colors. Is this wrong? It's not correct, I think. Because as I said before, we should set with the example, but I am not um, showing any kind of, re you know, being rebel or anything like that. So, yeah, that's why in these things I'm into in between two minds, and that's why I wanted to make this video to see other opinions and what you think about it. But yeah, makeup should be applied modestly. Okay, maybe because they are not allowed to wear like a lot of makeup either. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Okay, Arkansas. Ooh, tattoos. Okay, so two people are showing. Uh, ooh, so two people, a man and a woman, are showing the same, but they're wearing the same t shirt, sleeveless, showing tattoos. Really? So one of them is not acceptable. I would say neither because of the way the shirt is shaped, the t shirt is shaped. I have the feeling that sleeve, a type of a sleeve should be there, not too much, but at least covering the shoulder. Oh, that's how I feel more comfortable. Um, maybe the dreadlocks on the man, that would, that would be un un unacceptable. Because both have tattoos, so if one of them didn't, I would say, okay, the one with tattoos would be the non-acceptable. But in this case, I'm going to say the man because of the dreadlocks. Okay, I'm gonna say B. Uh, no, A. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, a girl showing her shoulders? Mm -hmm. I was thinking, but... Same thing, yeah. But a guy 
can wear into shoulders now? Oh, that's so unfair. I don't know. Either way, it's unfair. Can I say both? <laughs> B. I'll say B because it's a girl. Yeah. I'm not probably going to say that. Exactly. Like, um, that's the thing. Mm, it could be both. But one of them has to be wrong, I, I, I guess. The underarm is too close. I don't know. So the men have to wear long sleeve button down shirts or something like that and tank tops. Could be possible, yeah. Man, and it's more acceptable for women. I'm gonna go with this. Oh! Okay, I'm surprised there. Oh! I'm surprised there. So straps and girls tops back stained from the edge of the neck to the tip of the shoulder. So it's acceptable for men and not for women? Okay. Um, kind of surprised there, uh, to be honest. But guys can wear their arms out. I had that rule as a middle school student here in California, and I got in trouble for it. <laughs> yeah, but... but... Now, let's say in California, there's a girl showing her tattoos. She's wearing jeans. She's wearing a t-shirt, yellow-ish. And the man is wearing more like a loose t-shirt and pants. I'm going to say B. Now, it's true that A, she's showing tattoos there. Um, but tattoos are getting, um, they're becoming more acceptable. But however, the way his t-shirt wouldn't be the most, I don't know, the most... Mm, like the proper one to teach I mean the proper one to teach as if clothes would change the way you teach but uh, if you know what I mean like I think it would be more acceptable A despite the tattoos because, because tattoos are becoming more acceptable so I'm gonna say A I mean I'm gonna say B B is the wrong one hmm. I say <laughs> and I want to say B because I think that the t-shirt for guys is a no-no I'm gonna go with it right B. Okay. Uh, so it says the items are not allowed. Items with a specific California cities, items with a reference to the California flag, map, star, or bear. Okay. Uh, not exactly what I was thinking, but it's basically you don't, you cannot have anything specific to the state. Okay. That's interesting. Um, okay. I'll take that. <laughs> I'm so confused. Why? <laughs> Maybe it references games. I don't know. Probably. I mean, that's a good guy. He looks so happy. He's like... Mm, yeah, probably that you're like, you're supporting type of, or people think you're supporting a type of group or gang. Um, I wouldn't see how, but okay. Now, in these two pictures, we have something quite similar. So we don't, they don't show any uh, clothes this time, but they're showing two people where the man, uh, two people who are wearing nose piercings, um, the, man, the man is showing uh, the color of a shirt, but I think it's more to focus on um, hair in this case. So the man has dreadlocks, uh, they're put on top of the head with a, like a bun, and this, the girl uh, is the same, so her hair is all up in a ponytail or bun, they both have piercings. She's not wearing much makeup. That's Texas. Hmm. I would say A. I would say that his hair is not acceptable, which is cool. I I, I think his hair is cool. I mean, <laughs> he, he look, you can you can see that the thing about these types of um, clothing and style, you can see the type of person behind that. I mean. It's true that when you're, you're teaching or you're working in general, you have to show some type of um, like a professional face of you, but at the same time, you shouldn't lose your personality when you're teaching. I mean, that's why in my case, I, I'm always wearing Converse, okay? Now, this time I'm wearing boots, so this is my type, my typical teacher um, outfit. But in my everyday life, if I'm not teaching, I'm wearing uh, maybe I'm wearing leggings, I'm wearing converse, my hair is this color, I have piercings, I have tattoos. I mean, and that's the way I am. Why should I lose that when I'm teaching? Because I'm being professional, I'm teaching, I'm, 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 being, I, I'm, I'm treating my students the way they should be treated. So it is still myself. 
so in this case a is showing his vibe or his style and that's something that shouldn't be lost because at the end of the day it's part of yourself it's part of your personality you know but um uh, let's see what they say that looks like mm. an egg it looks like a like a shell i don't know to what extent that would be a problem i mean but a. it could be a problem the reason i'm saying a is because i think that, that this part of texas might have a specific rule about hair length for men. Exactly. There are not to be head or hair on or ornamentations such as unusual colouring, mohawks and man buns. Okay. In some way the person or the teacher should be aware of what is acceptable or not. I mean what is wrong with that? The, the braided hair, I just don't get it. He's probably the type of person uh that who needs to do that because of his hairstyle my hair is not straight my hair is not curly either but i straighten it because it's easier for me maybe for him it's the easiest option what is he going to shave his head maybe that's not part of his personality why should why should he shave his head so it's the same as me okay my hair is not straight i straighten it nearly every day so if that wasn't allowed in the place where i work what should i do then it's, it doesn't make much sense. I know rules are rules, but I don't understand these types of rules. I mean, it, it's helping our lifestyle or the way we look to make us to make us feel ourselves better. Girl, I don't get it. You know, some cultures, I have students that are from certain places that they grow their hair long, so they have to wear it up. I would let them slide. The principal would have to come and check me. I feel like a little frustrated. It's so outdated. Yeah, it's, it's hard to believe. Yeah. It's, definitely makes me a little angry yeah it's very outdated because at the end of the day as i said before uh the way you look is part of your personality now i think you should be aware of what is acceptable or not i've taught with my converse on but when i go to the school i don't would i like to probably but at the same time i know that i shouldn't i'm okay with that it's true that I, I also feel like myself right now. So it's not a problem that I'm wearing boots or I'm wearing a shirt because I feel like myself. At least I have the color of my hair of this color that I like. So that's why things, I, I think it's common sense. Like for example, wearing, wearing a short skirt without tights, for example. Like for example, if I wear, if I wear a skirt, I wear black tights. So you don't see my legs. I, my legs are tattooed and you don't see them. So I think it should be common sense. It should be uh, in yourself thinking, okay, is this something that it could be distracting? It could be insulting. You also have to think, of, like, maybe you have to think about the culture as well. The, the... There's a lot of things to take into account, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is for children to be safe, for children to feel comfortable with the teacher. And the teacher knows how to teach because that's the most important thing. Not how I look in the in the outside, but how I can teach from the inside. Um, but yeah, so that would be it. I really wanted to make this video. I I as I said before, I only saw the first two minutes and I was like, ooh, here comes the tea. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very happy that I I could talk about this. Um, I'm gonna go now, but I'll be back with new videos. I want to talk about living certs and junior certs. Uh, and I hope you like this video and you can share it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.